Wishing you all the success in your practical life. I am Dr. Yasser Osman and I'm going to talk about regional anesthetic techniques. Types of regional anesthetic techniques. Surface or topical anesthesia. Local infiltration. Nerve block, example median nerve block. Ganglion block, for example trigeminal ganglion block. Plexus block, example brachial plexus block, central neural block as spinal or epidural, local intravenous anesthesia. First, we are going to talk about the surface anesthesia. Local anesthetic drug cannot penetrate the intact skin in general, so the local anesthesia drug is applied to the injured skin or mucous membrane, for example, the eyes, the mouth, or the urethra, using different forms of local agent, for example, drops, ointment, spray, and so on. Common drug used are xylocaine in different concentrations. The exception to the first rule is the amla cream, used to produce good analgesia when applied to the intact skin. It is used for vini puncture in children, skin biopsy, arterial puncture, and circumcision. Local infiltration anesthesia. Local infiltration is performed by injecting local anesthetic drug around the lesion, for example, lipoma, this blocking the nerve ending. See the picture. This is the lipoma in the middle, and we infiltrate the anesthetic drug around the lesion that we are going to operate upon. Xylocaine and pubivacaine are usually used. Nerve or plexus block. Nerve or plexus block can be done by injecting the local anesthetic drug around the nerve trunk at the distance from the area to be operated on. The procedure is named according to the area injected, for example, brachial plexus block or median nerve block and so on. The drug used in current are xylocaine and pupivacaine. Nerve localization technique for regional block include anatomical landmarks, see what he's doing in the first picture, and peripheral nerve stimulator, this is the uh, apparatus that is used, and this is the needle, and he is performing the uh, procedure using the peripheral nerve stimulator and the ultrasound. The ultrasound guided regional block is the most practical image tool for regional anesthesia as it is portable, easy to learn, with no risk of radiation and improve the success rate greatly and reduce the complication. Ultrasound allow the Clinician to place the needle with precision, guided a real-time image of the patient's actual anatomy during the nerve block procedure. A successful block can be expected when the local anesthetic is seen spreading around the nerve root under direct vision. This is the procedure performed using the needle and the ultrasound probe. And this is the monitor and what he is seeing, the structures, the nerves, and the needle is seen spreading the local anesthetic around the nerve. The block use ultrasound include axillary, femoral, peripheral nerve block, and so on. What about local intravenous anesthesia? Local intravenous anesthesia is used for limb surgery, mainly the upper limb. 
how it is done first we put an IV cannula in the limb that we want to anesthetize of course there is another IV cannula in the other limb to give the drug needed for sedation for example or whatever then we raise the limb up and we put an elastic bandage around it and this is to drain that uh, venous uh, system from the blood then we put a tourniquet distally and inflate it 50 millimeter mercury above the systolic blood pressure and we leave it inflated then we remove this elastic bandage and the cannula and the patient will be ready for surgery of course after the injection of the local anesthetic in that cannula the agent diffuse preferably and is fixed to the nerve endings the volume needed in the upper limb is between 30 to 40 milli of 0.5 xylocaine. Pupifacaine is not used, of course, because of its toxicity. The main disadvantage of this technique is the use of large volume of local anesthetic drug with the possibility of systemic toxicity. Therefore, the tourniquet should not be released within 20 minutes of injection. Precaution needed before giving any local anesthesia. Of course, an intravenous cannula and fluid should be present. An operating table. Standard monitor should be connected to the patient. And resuscitation equipment, including facility for artificial ventilation, suction, and drug. Vasoconstrictor and local anesthetic drug. The use of vasoconstrictor with local anesthetic agent will decrease the rate of absorption and reduce the toxicity, increase intensity and prolong the duration of analgesic activity, and produce local ischemia, so there will be less bleeding in the operating field. Epinephrine is the most commonly used vasoconstrictor. It is used in a concentration of 1 to 200,000. Epinephrine should not be used in fingertips of the nose or penis, as it can cause necrosis at these sites. Note, other additives to local anesthetic can improve its activity. Example, opioids, clonidine, dexamethomidine, and so on. Indications of local anesthesia. It is highly indicated in high-risk patient. For example, patient having a recent meal or cardiac or respiratory problem. In outpatient clinic for removal of small swelling and so on. When cooperation of the patient is needed. For example, tendon repair surgery. Minor procedures and patients specially requiring regional analgesia for post-operative and chronic pain relief. Advantage of regional anesthesia over general anesthesia. It's a simple technique and minimal equipment is required. There is less blood loss and the body response to surgery is much less. Less incidence of pulmonary complication and aspiration. No pollution of the environment. Less nausea and vomiting. Excellent muscle relaxation. Circulatory stability. Only if no sympathetic block is done. For example, like spinal or epidural. Bowel is contracted, thus very useful in pelvic and rectal surgery spinal and epidural, less post-operative observation and care is required because, of course, the patient is very conscious, allow verbal communication with the patient, 
reduces post-operative deep vein thrombosis by about 50%, especially in spinal and epidural. Possibility of continuous post-operative analgesia, for example, epidural anesthesia, less expensive than any general anesthesia, and patient can drink or eat early after surgery. Disadvantage of regional anesthesia, Many needle breaks may be needed, it's time consuming, patient discomfort, especially in long operation, contraindicated in confused patients, possibility of nerve damage, profound circulatory effect, for example, in sympathetic block, toxicity with high dose or accidental intravenous injection of the local anesthetic. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this.